Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Referral Exchange Networking's Business Success Fertilizer Application. It isn't always easy to compete with companies that are bigger than you and have greater resources. However, one advantage you can have is being smarter than they are. No one can tell no one can tell you how much you can learn and how much an, of an expert and an asset you can be. That's why education is critical for small businesses. And that's why we at Referral Exchange Networking strive to make you just a little bit smarter every week. So let's get right to it. Standing still is the fastest way of moving backwards in a rapidly changing world. That was Lauren Bacall, screen actress from the 40s and 50s. In the 1930s, the advent of new technology spawned a prolific publication of articles, all of which asked the question, what will future generations do with all the leisure time that new technology will produce? John Maynard Keynes, renowned economist, wrote, for the first time since his creation, man will be faced with his real, his permanent problem, how to use his freedom from pressing economic cares, how to occupy the leisure which science and compound interest will have won for him to live wisely and agreeably and well. <laughs> that point of view seen from 2021 appears to be naive, generated by people who had absolutely no inkling of the forces that would combine to create the world we find ourselves attempting to cope with now. In fact, Jeffrey West, theoretical physicist quoted in Accelerated Intelligence said, rather than being bored to death, our actual challenge is to avoid anxiety attacks, psychotic breakdowns, heart attacks and strokes resulting from being accelerated to death. Michael Simmons, best-selling author and co-founder of Impact, a global entrepreneurial education organization, writes that our need for adaptability and resilience, already of paramount importance, is about to get even more intense. He says, 20 years from now, the rate of change will be four times what it is right now. Things will keep accelerating from there, and in 40 years, it will be 16 times the pace of change we're trying to cope with today. Dr. Ray Crutzreel, one of the world's leading inventors, thinkers, and futurists, and co-founder of the Singularity Group, explains it this way. For someone who is about 40 today, when they're 60 in 2040, the rate of paradigm change will be four times what it is now. They will experience a year of change by today's standards in three months. For someone who is 10 today, when they're 60, they'll experience a year of change in 11 days. Rather than experience 100 years of progress in the 21st century, we'll experience 20,000 years of progress. The dilemma is obvious. Humans are linear, while the world has become exponential. So how do we cope? Frank, Frank Diana, recognized futurist, thought leader, and frequent keynote speaker, implores his audience to focus on learning. He says, when you set aside an hour in your day for deliberate learning, your productivity for the day may decrease, but your productivity over your lifetime skyrockets as your knowledge compounds. As the amount of knowledge and pace of change continue their exponential climb, we need to realize that we individually can't keep pace with all of it. Instead, we need to focus on our niche and be the best at that. To supplement our knowledge in other areas that are not part of our focus, we need to we need to determine what these are and connect with experts who focus on those. And finally, we need to be better learners. We need to set learning goals. We need to establish how we learn. Are we mostly visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, or reading, writing learners? Although most people learn best through one of these four, 
it's important to not ignore other methods as they can reinforce what you're learning. Now, more than ever, we need to recognize that we will never know it all. However, with our ability to connect with almost anyone, you'll be able to find someone who knows what you don't. In the words of John Wooden, legendary UCLA basketball coach, it is what we learn after we think we know it all that counts. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you got something out of it. If you'd like to talk about anything you just heard or would like to know about how you could grow your business by joining a referral exchange networking chapter or even how to start your own chapter, reach out to me at raustin at referralexchangenetworking.com. That's exchange with an X. And if you would like to be notified whenever we post another educational video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of the video. Well, that's it for this week's folks. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next week. Keep learning. Bye.